What is up, I Love Basketball TV. It's Coach Ryan Rizuki, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to improve your crossover. We'll be looking at four different crossovers with this one, our Iverson, our Pro Cross, our Cross Jab, and our Derrick Rose crossover. Let's get into it. The first crossover we're gonna be talking about is gonna be our Iverson crossover. So make sure that you're extremely wide with this one and you wanna keep it low as well. So as we bring the ball outside of our frame, we're taking that same foot and selling. Right hand, right foot. We sell hard, we cross the ball below our knees, and we cross the foot over. With this one, we want to be able to take two steps into that jumper or continue moving all the way to the basket or in this space to create your next play. But with our Iverson crossover, you drop the opposite shoulder, you sell to about here, make sure that this knee is almost at the ground, and then you cross the ball underneath your knees. The most common mistake with this one is players don't get it wide enough or they hop after the move. So a lot of players want to do it here or here and then hop. So make sure that you don't do those two things. Keep it low, keep it wide, sell with your eyes, sell with your shoulder, and sell by staying wide and low here on the side of my foot, cross the foot over, and then take off into your next spot. Make sure that you work with this one with both hands, so right hand and left hand. So the second crossover we're gonna be doing here is gonna be our high slash pro crossover. With this one, we wanna make sure our thumb that starts on the right side pushes across our waistline and gets all the way out to the left side. So if I was bouncing the basketball in a normal low Iverson cross, it would bounce between my feet. But with our pro crossover, I'm gonna push it outside of my feet. So make sure that it gets all the way across to the other side. This gives me more freedom with my feet to move it at the same time that the ball moves. Also turning my shoulder, keeping the ball protected, and keeping it tight to my body. So I could sell right side push across as long as I don't get my hand underneath the ball or if I'm coming off a screen and I want to get low I can push keep it tight come off that screen there's a lot of different ways and variations to use this one because it's not as much of a sell it's more of a protection dribble with our Iverson we are selling more and making them believe we're going this way with this pro cross I'm just pushing and I'm running down fast break or coming off a screen, or staying tight with my body and my shoulders, closing my back off to my defender to then protect the ball more instead of exposing it to show it and bait them, similar to our Iverson. Very different with this one, keep the ball tight. The most common mistakes we see here is a player will do it and have the ball really far away from their body and they won't move the feet to coincide with the basketball. So make sure that you push ball, feet, and shoulder together. One, two, and three. Get it across and then get to your spots. Our third crossover here is our cross jab. Again, another one that stays outside and wide with our base. I'm crossing the ball over, right to left. Now that the ball is in my left hand, after the ball gets to my left hand, I'm gonna go ahead and shift my entire body weight out here to the right side. So this is our cell, this is how we shift our defense. We cross over, we sell hard, move the entire body this way, and then continue to push out to the left. Make sure that right foot Cross and then gets across again. So, right foot sell, boom, right foot across. So now we can continue running. The most common mistake with this is a player doesn't get wide enough and then doesn't push the second dribble. So, what we normally see is a player do this, boom, and just kind of stay narrow, and then they take the next dribble right in front of them. So, get wide, look in that direction, sell in that direction, and then throw the ball forward on this move. So, cross, look and sell. Of course, you can't carry it, I'm doing it in slow motion and then throw that next dribble out there so that way we can get into our mid-range or get into our finish here. But again, we're gonna be starting with this right hand and after we cross over, and now the ball's on the left, now I can go ahead and sell and shift my entire body weight. The other last mistake we see here is players will kind of step foam without actually moving their weight. So make sure that this knee's bent and that you move your whole weight to that side. We wanna work on all of these crossovers right and left-handed. Now one of my personal favorite is this last one here is gonna be our Derrick Rose crossover. What we need to do with this one is push out wide and quick, but then get skinny and get our feet really close together with this one so we can change directions as fast as possible. Now what we're doing with this one is pushing the ball out. Let's say I'm right hand, I'm gonna throw it out. Boom, one, and on this next step, it's gonna be really close to my feet and then I'm gonna get this crossover really close there as well. So I want everything low and tight. So I'm gonna be pushing full speed, boom, Keep it tight, change directions. This one's not to be wide or not to sell my defender, but instead, as their momentum carries them this way, I can stay low and quickly change directions right there. Right, you can see how close my feet are and you can see how low this crossover is, and that it happens as my feet hit, boom, hit, 
crossover, stay low, and then attack the opposite direction. So go full speed on this one, just as if you were running, and then stop on a dime and attack the opposite direction. So what we've done is put a drill together to help you out to work on all of these crossovers. You're gonna start with the right hand and do your Iverson, your Pro, your Derrick Rose, and your cross jab. Once you finish all of those and finish your left hand layups, then of course you're gonna to switch to the left hand, and do all of your crossovers into right hand layups. You wanna be able to make four in a row going both ways, and then you're getting into mid-range pull-ups, and you wanna make four in a row going both ways as well. So for our first example for our crossover, we're gonna be starting with the Iverson. I'm here, Iverson cross get to the basket, finish that layup. You finish that one, you get straight into your next one, which is gonna be our pro cross, which is going through our waist. So I'm gonna push over the top, pro cross, get to the basket, finish that layup, and then cross jab, and then the last one is gonna be our Derek Rose. So our cross jab, make sure that you're shifting your body and you sell hard, boom, boom, sell your defense, finish your layup, and with the Derek Rose, you don't necessarily have your defender in front of you, they're more coming with you. So if he's already on me, I'm gonna push this way, stop on the dime, and then change direction. So that's not my initial move. My initial move is the push. So it's push, D rose, and then finish on this side. Four going right, and four going left. We hope you enjoyed today's video, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did, and subscribe as we're dropping new videos every single week. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And if you hit the link and the pinned comment down below, it's gonna give you access to our new shooting program. So make sure that you go get that one, as it's an incredible program, and it's gonna help you a ton. We'll catch you guys in the next video.